not been that long, but for me, I was down for legitimately, tomorrow's gonna be one week. So today's the first day that I'm driving again. If you haven't seen the video, I basically got a boob job. And today is my sixth day post-op, but I just have energy. I was cleared by my doctor yesterday to like shower and like all that. It's all in the video. Like go watch it. I'm not gonna sit here and like recap it, but yeah, I got ready this morning. So this sweater is from Aritzia, but fucking Aritzia forgot to take off the sensor. So the tag is left on. That way I can take it back to Aritzia because this shit was like $70. No. You're gonna fix it. But it's too cute, so I wanted to wear it, and it's like windy as fuck outside today. And then I put on these skinny jeans from Abercrombie, and we just got on some Converse. It is 9.50 a.m. right now. I have an appointment with my tax lady at 10 a.m., and she's half an hour away. So we're definitely gonna be late, but I'm gonna message her right now, and I need coffee because, dude, I'm literally gonna drive for the first time. I'm gonna need some caffeine because I don't know how bad this is gonna hurt. You know, I'm, I'm able to do this motion. I'm able to go up, down, you know, emergency lights. I can do it. So I was like, I'm good to drive, and my legs are fine. So with that being said, we are ready. Y'all fucking with the fit. Look at this spire ass fit. Um, I ate. Oh, before I leave, look at this cute update. So, while I was down, my pantry got installed. Yay. <laughs> it's not done. They're gonna have to put some stuff up here. Um, I'm gonna install lights and, you know, it's still progress. Like, there's still cracks and stuff that needs to be fixed. But look at these. I'm so excited. So, we're gonna organize. We're gonna try to organize this pantry and the upstairs closet. All right, it's official. I'm driving. I'm so happy. I wish I could explain to you guys how happy I feel. I was such a dependent bitch for the longest. I'm like, now I can drive? So let's see, yeah, I can move my wheel all the way. I can move this. Yeah, I'm good. It's a 30 minute drive, so I should be okay. It does hurt. Fuck, I underestimated how much this is gonna hurt. But I have to get to it. Also, the doctor was like, girl, you should have been driving already. So maybe I'm just being a little bitch. I just need to drive. All right, we got my Starbeats. It's a chestnut praline with half and half and blonde espresso. Oh my gosh. It is unreal. Mm. Let's head out to my taxes. Half an hour late. Yay. We got everything that we needed to get from my tax lady. And now it's literally going dark already. How the frick? My depression kicks in during this time of the year. I'm so serious. Like I get so sad because why the fuck is it 4 p.m. and it's already like sunset? It's wrong. It should not be a thing. I hate it. It makes me sad. It makes me just hate life. It's the worst. Back in my master closet and look at it guys, they finished it. So they put these in because initially they had put these ugly ass ones that they just looked disgusting. So I was like, babes, I did not ask for that tint. So they took them out, put these and they put thicker ones because I had paid for the one and a half inch, not the one inch. So yeah, this is what we got now. So much better, the color is just better, everything's just better. We also got shelving on this side which was not here the last time you guys saw it. So these up here are too high so I wanna put stuff that like don't really use up there. Here I wanna do like sweaters and stuff and you know just so it's like more accessible this is the other side of the closet so we got those two poles up there a little bit of shoe racks here and then this right here i'm gonna try to put my jackets that i like use on the daily this little like trash bag hack the best and then this pole right here is for dresses i don't know if i can reach it oh my god that hurts real fucking bad all right, now we got this last box that was freaking never unpacked because this has pajamas, jeans, and anything that goes in drawers. But now we finally got drawers installed and they're like the push out ones. So we can actually start organizing everything. This drawer we're doing pajama shorts. So anything that's like comfy and like time to bed, you know, all that stuff. And then on this one, I'm gonna put in the shirts that are to sleep, just like baggy loose shirts that I just are gonna be comfortable to sleep in. All right, now the magic drawer is gonna be this one. This is gonna be jeans. In this one, we're gonna have sweats. Why am I dumb? We forgot about underwear and bras. That has to be on one of the top ones. Back when I had like no boobs, like actually no boobs. I would buy these and I was always so fucking insecure to wear them. So I would never wear them. But now we got boobies, so it's okay. I'm gonna put all of this stuff in this lower one. Oh my gosh, I bought this and I think I wore it like once. This is the cutest Kelvin Klein shit ever. This is not gonna fit anymore. Good morning, guys. We are up bright and motherfucking early for only one thing that could ever be me getting up early for. Any guesses? Tip, it is November 17th today. Red cup day! 
Okay, we're going to Starbucks and securing our red cup. And that's why I was like, I woke up extra freaking early, got all ready. Because I'm not missing out on this fucking red cup. I'm getting it, okay? So, this is the fit this morning. We got on this white top, these cargo dad pants from Hollister, and then some horses with my white bag. Just a quick little fit. And, okay, I posted a picture right now on my Insta story. And people are like, boob job. And I'm like, ah, I'm scared. And people are kind of telling. Because with this shirt, you can actually tell. All right, let's go to Starbucks. Hold on, I'm not even going to talk because we're just wasting time. And motherfuckers are taking my cups. Nice and ready to go collect my cup. Today I feel even better than yesterday. I have energy. I'm kind of like ready to go out on the day. I think as the days go by, it just gets a lot easier to continue from the boob job. But what I really was upset about that I actually contacted my doctor. Do you guys see how my boob kind of goes out this way? And he basically told me that it's just my anatomy, but it fucking annoys the fuck out of me. It is 7 a.m. right now, so it's still pretty fucking early, but Starbucks wants to be crazy as fuck. What the fuck? The line is here. The Starbucks is over there. Are y'all seeing this? I'm still wait though, because I need that red cup. And I'm going to try to get two red cups. One for me one for Jake. Hi, thank you for sitting at Starbucks. How are you today? Hi, I'm well. How are you? Have a great day. Thank you so much. We got our red cup bag fucking secured. We got two. These are our cups. Look at how cute they are. I still have like the past two years red cups. So freaking cute. Love. And then we got my chestnut praline with half and half and blonde espresso. The best drink probably in the entire world. And then I got another two drinks. So one's for me, one's for Taylor, and then one's for Jake. Let's go home. Welcome home. We just got home and we are going to start taking care of this mess right here because you'll see this. This is supposed to go in the pantry that is now done. So let's figure out how to get rid of everything. Cause this is stressing me out a little bit more than the closet upstairs. Cause like this is where you walk in, like everybody's seen this. No. Oh shit, I think this might be too heavy for me. Muscles. These are my little organizers with flour, rice, all of that. How cute. All right, the whole reason I even made this pantry was to get rid of my appliances. So, this is the part that I'm literally the most excited about. This is probably the most useful gadget in the kitchen, but it looks horrendous. So, I'm going to put it in the corner, my little decor tree. If you did not watch my video where I went to the store and I willingly bought $1,500 knives, because they're chef knives and I'm chef not, then you got to go watch that video to understand. But here they are, and I have not unboxed them, and now we're going to unbox them because now I have my pantry. This is where the magic is at. Look at this. These are the real knives right here. $1,500. Could you guys believe that? What a fucking scam. Damn. I'm sure this can freaking cut through diamonds because look at this. All right, we're going to put it in our little thingy right here. Let's put these in the pantry. All right, so I think this is my carpet cleaner. Oh, this is for my closet. I bought these to cover cords. They're like the ones that like follow the cords so it doesn't look like ugly. Look what we got. In conclusion, I am a psycho that needs her car taken away. I bought another tree. I know I have like 20 in this house, but I just feel like it makes it look like a modern, organic. I just couldn't resist, so I bought a new one. So I have a bunch of all the trees in this house, but this one is a eucalyptus tree. Oh my gosh, look at how cute. <sighs> Fuck. Cute. Love it. Good morning, guys. Another day, another slay. Look at my cute ass outfit. It's Gibby. So I've been posting my outfits on Instagram every single day, you know, like every day, trying to get people on board of what I'm wearing. And for the most part, people are like, yes, yeah, slay. But there's those people who are like, girl, your shit is basic as fuck. But that's the point. So I'm trying to show that I am Hollister crop titties with leggings, but it looks good for an everyday fit. You know what I mean? Like, realistically speaking, I am a basic person and these are the fits. So I'm just trying to post them on Instagram. So if you don't follow my Instagram, what are you doing? Go follow my Instagram. I post my fits on there. I post everything. And if anything is happening with me, I go ghost on Instagram. So if I ever don't post on Instagram for like a day or two, just know that I'm doing some crazy shit. Like when I got my boobs done, I wasn't posting. And a lot of people were like, babe, why aren't you posting? I was getting my boobs done. All right, we are heading out because it is time, finally time to see my golden retriever. Thea has been at training for exactly two weeks today, which means that it is time to go for our first session. And I'm so excited, which brings me to the next point that I'm thinking that in December I'm gonna do a giveaway where I give away dog training for like one dog out there just cuz training is so unobtainable for a lot of people cuz it's so fucking expensive but I want to make it a little bit more obtainable so just stay tuned again I'll give more details on my Instagram and just stay tuned in my socials that's where you'll know <laughs> Guys, they literally, they still have the apple crisp at my store. The best fucking drink. So fucking good. Oh my gosh. Mama, I missed you. Oh, such a big baby. Look at her, guys. 
just got back from Theo's training and literally this girl is probably okay I'm gonna explain after I get out of Target because I want tamales right now and the Target ones are really good for some reason I usually don't fuck with any of the store-bought tamales I think they taste like ass but these are good hold up I'll tell you guys the story when we get back let's go Normally, I get the ones, the pork in red sauce. I've never tried the chicken in red sauce, but I'm gonna get them and try them. We're back home, and guys, I saw these scrubs, and I'm such a whore for these tree hut scrubs. I usually don't really use all of them, but I just love to see them in my bathroom. It's like aesthetic almost. So we got those, and then the tamales. These are so good, I'm telling you guys, they're good. I'm gonna eat a pork one, these are the best. This was my super duper cool, cute, simple looking fit. What I love about this fit is that you can't really see my boobs. And I know you guys are gonna be like, Nat, literally what the fuck? Like you paid so much money to have your boobs on? Yeah, I know, but I actually didn't want them this big and I'm really sad and it makes me really sad to see my big ass boobs. So with this sweatshirt, it's like, babe, she doesn't even have boobs. And then Converse that Thea literally destroyed. Oh, <gasps> Thea, talking about Thea. I didn't tell you guys the Thea story. So basically I show up to her training spot all excited, you know, ready to play with Thea and like train with her, right? Basically, she's really good. She's really good. Let me tell you guys. So, Fia is like good. And when I mean good, like excessively, excessively good. Like this bitch just wows me every single fucking time. So, the trainer basically is like, why did you bring her here? Like she's amazing. It was almost like when your kid gets super perfect grades on the report card and you're just a proud ass mom. Like that's how I feel right now. Fia is at an advanced level in school right now. So she will be coming home two weeks early. So she's only doing the four week program instead of the six. And she should come back e-color trained and everything trained. She's just great. She's amazing. She, a little fur was why. And I just, I love Thea so much. So I'm so excited to have her back home in two weeks, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that is the infamous Thea story. Anyways, let me show you guys what got delivered to my house yesterday. Yesterday. Bro, they just dropped it off. Bro, they're leaving. Bro, they just did. What the heck? They didn't even knock or nothing. And they just left the box at the door. Da da! This, ladies and gentlemen, is my entryway table. And we also got this. Da da! That pot was actually one of my neighbors, and we went to her house, picked it up, had Jacob and Rangel bring it over to my house. And now we have that, and then we still have our little you can loop. You go, you go, whoop, you go lift this tree right here that needs to be set up. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna open up this fat cat box, finally have an entryway table. We've been literally walking in this house and not having shit. Like it's just, you walk in and then you don't have nowhere to put your stuff at. So it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be great. Oh, yes, yes. All right, so we're getting somewhere here. Is it? Ah. Bruh, that's my sock. All right, look at how cute this entryway table is. And I'm gonna put a huge mirror right there. It's gonna match the little pot. We're gonna put that pot in the corner. Ah. This is such a cute little Christmas tree. I'm kind of sad about it. We're just gonna remove it somewhere else. Bring this one over here. There we go. All right, we got our little storage organizers. All right, we're taking the boxes up to the master bedroom. Two flights of stairs, here we motherfucking go. All right, in the master closet, the literal shithole of a room. This is the setup that I'm thinking. So everyday casual shoes here, slides and like slippers and all this stuff down here. More casual shoes, heels, and then boxes at the top. I have like my easy boxes up there, so I'm gonna put all the boxes up there in like one space. And then in these right here, we also have more shoes. I have a lot of fucking shoes, that's the issue. I put on this hoodie because Natalie Guava's merch is dropping and you guys need to go shop it, link down below. So I'm wearing my little hoodie. Honestly, the zip up was just so fucking annoying. Zip ups get so annoying so fast. So anyways, this has all of my beanies inside of it. And honestly, I don't know if I'm like feeling the wire basket anymore. So we're gonna transfer it over to this one. It's more of a vibe. And the other one, we're doing hats. There we go, looks good. Here's my issue. These drawers are too close together and it doesn't give me enough space to do anything. So, I'm thinking I'm just gonna adjust this. So, one, two, three, 10, 11, like here. I bought this on Amazon. It's basically a bag holder that we still have to build. It's fucking nothing right now. But let me actually build it real quick. Hold up. Okay, I built them. So this is a little stand for the purses. You're supposed to put it here and then it's supposed to hold. Ta-da! 
it works. A few moments later. This is the update on the closet. So everything, the racks have been cleared off and this needs to be on display. I don't care what else is on. This needs to be one of the displays. And then I put on the jewelry box that I got from Amazon and then I only have a little bit of jewelry, just like my bracelet and then my earrings. I do have three rings, but that's all the jewelry I have right now. And then I displayed one of my bags. Up there is bag boxes. This is how this is looking. Honestly, it just looks super freaking cluttered because I just have so much stuff. I definitely need to clean it out. I have just way too much clothes. And then on this side, this is kind of how it looks. It's driving me crazy how I don't have the last box of those. So we need to go back to Target and find it because that's driving me nuts. But in here, I just put like beanies in this one, hats in this one. And then I put all my bags in here, like my Lululemon belt bags and stuff. And then I have a few more coming in. So that's going to look super cute. And then these are just bathing suits. That's how it's looking like right now. But it is going to look so much better once I put like the lights on the shelving, which I already ordered but they're taking a minute to come in and it's gonna look so freaking good and like my first floor with the little like entryway table and everything it's just coming together slowly slowly look at this dog why are you on the couch bruh no dogs no couch you know this or no couch no dogs whatever are you comfy i'm just kidding this is your couch too good night my love so cute bruh Apple juice is delicious. This brand in particular is fire. That's gonna close off today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching another Movie Now video. I know you guys are probably like, bitch, stop these videos. Like, they're fucking annoying. Stop, we get it. I know, there's only one more, I think, coming out. Or I don't think this is the last one. I think one more. I don't know, this could be the last one. Just depends what my mood is. But I think the house is pretty much, like, done. I'm just, the last tweaks, I'm just gonna do them off camera. It looks pretty good already. I'm, like, kind of happy with how the house is. I just need to buy, like, a rug and certain stuff. But, like, that's, I don't really need to make a whole video for that. Make sure to shop the merch link down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.